Welcome to C++Tutor.com. This is a production of YouTube channel Learnorama and the Facebook page Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Dev. Today we are going to learn about abstract data types and data structures. Um, remember, this is not a C programming tutorial. This is not a C++ tutorial or Java tutorial or anything like that. It's totally independent of programming language. We are just going to talk about the concepts of data structures and ADTs, abstract data types. So no matter what language you are working on, this tutorial is going to be good for you if you are dealing with data structures. Um, anyway, so the question is that what is an abstract data type? Um, you will find all kinds of definitions, but essentially what abstract data type is that it is the collection of data whose implementation is hidden behind the operations defined on it. So um, let's 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 take an example to understand what I just said. Okay, um, it's always easier to explain and understand with examples. So let's let's see. Let's suppose suppose that you are writing a program. Uh, that actually manipulates the scores of the students in class okay this is my favorite one I always take that example because it's very simple so so suppose that you know you're writing a program then you want to it, that involves or you know that manipulates the scores of uh, all the students in a class and those scores are you know uh, anywhere from zero an integer from zero to 100 you know so and suppose there are like 20 students right so what you will have is uh, is uh, you know uh, numbers like this 92 64 85 28 98 and so on and the 20th number would be you know i don't know 85 now what's 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 going on here i mean if you look if you look at it these are you have 20 integers right over here what would you call it when you just look at it what would you call it i would call it like i don't know like list of scores list of integers you know the keyword is list this is a list of numbers right so list is 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 a data type it's a, it's an it's an abstract data type why because you don't care how you're going to implement this list it's data f to begin with you know it, it consists of it's a collection of data and you don't care it's been abstracted you don't care how you're going to implement it at, at this at least at this point at this level when you are analyzing your program how you're going to be writing the program what problem you are trying to solve you know you have to manipulate this um, uh, this list or list of scores or what what not you know like you have to find out who who is the number one in the class right who has the highest score in the class right so you will have to manipulate this list to figure that out right but you don't care about this at, at this point you are just trying to understand what your problem is and what you have is a list of of these integers here this list is an abstract data type ADT because you don't care how you are going to implement it at least at, at this point uh, you don't care about it. You just know that you have a list that you are going to manipulate. You are going to do some something with it. So, so, so this fact that you have a collection of data and its implementation is totally hidden makes this list an ADT, an abstract data type. But, but there's something else. There is one more thing. What, what's the use of having data if you do not, if you cannot operate on it, if you cannot manipulate the data? You know, there is no use. I mean, we always, th that's what we do. We just manipulate data everywhere, right? So, so the fact that you are going to do operations on this data is essential part of an ADT, right? So wherever there is an ADT, you will have at least one operation defined on it, right? For example, in this case, for list, we will have, we have like, you know, let me write it underneath it list we have for example you know you will have you can sort this list right so sorting would be an operation defined on this list right so essentially list this list is the collection of data whose implementation has been hidden behind sorting 
and many other operations that you could def you could do on this list. So an ADD, an abstract data type, is essentially uh, a collection of data whose implementation is is abstracted or hidden behind the operations which are defined on it. That's what ADD is. Very simple, right? Now data structures is one step further. I mean, there, there is a very, you know, a lot of people use ADT and, and data structures as synonym, okay? But they are, uh, strictly sp speaking, they are not. But they are very similar, so you could still use them, you know, if you are loosely using them, using the ADT and data structures, you could you could basically, you know, definitely ex interchange them. But, but there is a very subtle but extremely important difference between the two. One just talks about the abstraction, you know, it doesn't care about implementation. The other one tells you, data structure tells you how you are going to represent the data, how you are going to store the data, how you are going to organize the data. In other words, it will give you the way or ways to implement this list. So for example, if you want to implement this list, you know, forget about data structure, forget about ADD. If you have this problem, we have been doing this all this along, you know, in other tutorials. If you have this to represent this data, this list in your program, what are you going to choose? What what uh, data structure you're going to choose without knowing that it's a data structure? First thing that comes in mind is, of course, an array. Yeah, an array is a very... It, we, we we studied about it, we used it, we, we, we talked about it. it. It is essentially a data structure. Why? Because it shows you how exactly how you are going to re represent this data in your program. Okay? As an array. It will be bytes allocated in the memory and this, this is how you are going to store all this information here. So an array is essentially a data structure. So what is a data structure? It's one step further. It actually defines the physical implementation of or of the of the data it is essentially the way to store and organize the data it's a particular way of storing and organizing a data a, a, a collection of data and just like ADT is associated with operation you know sorting all you say that this is sort the, the operation of sorting is basically is to order these numbers right you don't care about how you are going to do sorting at this level when you're talking about ADT but when you're talking about data structures you talk about the exact process that you are going to use to do the sorting so you talk about the step-by-step -step step instructions that will result in ordering this data and that step-by-step -step instructions to perform a task or to perform a particular operation is called an algorithm okay and when you talk about data structures you always talk about algorithms which are as associated with those data structures for example sorting algorithms the they will and there is not just one sorting algorithm there are there are many sor sorting algorithms here so they are all for example you know insertion sort um, you know, selection sort, I don't know, like quick sort, and there are many more. All these algorithms are actually defined on this array, can use this array and and manipulate the, the arrays and they will, their end result is going to be sorted list. And this algorithm is going to it give you exact detail that if you follow blindly you will end up in a sorted list so that's an algorithm and it's an essential part of an of a of data structure so we are going to um, we are going to you know talk about algorithm as well when we are talking about uh, data structure so data structure is the way to store and organize data along with the algorithms defined on it and the same list could be implemented using some other data structure. For example, a linked list. Okay. Its linked list is the way to store or represent or organize this 
list. If you talk about linked lists, you can sync, you can definitely um, store all this data in your program easily if you know how to implement a linked list. Okay, so linked list is again another data structure, and it has the same kind of algorithms defined on it too, like you know, insertion sort, selection sort. I mean, you could use these algorithms on linked lists also. They will the steps will change, but essentially you could do that. You can still sort a linked list. Okay, so so that's that's what a data structure is. So I hope you understand that you know what ADT is, what linked list is, and what the difference. Be oh, sorry, what ADT is and what data structure is, and what is the difference between an ADT and data structure. To recap. An ADT is the collection of data whose implementation is hidden behind the operations defined on that collection. And a data structure is a particular way of storing and organizing data along with the algorithms defined on it. That's what ADT and data structures are. I hope you understand. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and don't forget to visit c++tutor.com and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube ch channel. Keep watching.